Now to the city of Lynn, where you will see in a moment a huge fireball that overtook a tree and the front porch of a home there. There was a man inside that home who was able to get to safety. WBZ's Lisa Gresci is live for us in Lynn tonight. And Lisa, firefighters say that there is one key reason that that man got out okay. David, firefighters were here most of the day making sure this fire stayed out. Now it's being boarded up, and the woman who was actually the first to arrive here heard the screams from inside. It was engulfed in flames, engulfed. The whole thing was inflamed. Corinne Upton happened to be driving by the home on Tucker Street when she saw the flames. Then she realized someone was still inside. I, mean, I heard him screaming, so I, was, I tried to go to the back, but... And then the whole thing just started sparking. Big, big, big sparks, fire everywhere, spewing out into the street. The man was able to run out the back. Three people live in the house, a mom, a dad, and a 20-year-old son. The 20-year-old son was on the second floor, heard the smoke detectors go off, and it escaped. In the process of escaping, he got smoke inhalation and was taken to the hospital. He asked me to get his pets. <laughs> he said he had pets inside, and I... I I, every, I couldn't let him go back in. The whole the whole house was on fire. Unfortunately, firefighters found two of those pets, a dog and a cat, didn't make it. But they say the man is extremely lucky he made it out in time. His father just told me a few minutes ago that he just changed all the smoke detectors in the house, which is amazing and most probably led to saving his son's life. The fire chief tells me a big challenge today was the wind. Two firefighters actually had to be taken to the hospital for physical exertion. As for the cause of this fire this morning, that is still under investigation. Reporting live here, Lynn, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News. Lisa, thank you. People in